Wow. Sony just blew the minds out of the photography and especially the videography community. Holy hell. Now, it is very, very difficult to get me puzzled, excited, interested about something in the photography industry. And this is Sony's Alpha uh, 2. They're coming out with, it's a full frame mirrorless camera. And literally this community is just going crazy because Sony did something in a full frame, you know, type body that is unheard of. Basically they created the optimal stabilized camera sensor. It's not a device. It's not anything different. It's literally the sensor within the camera, within the Sony Alpha 7 version 2. It's got a five-axis image stabilization. Now, just keep this in mind. Um, the, a lot of people are getting caught up on this, and I have a video, a videography background. So this kind of relates to using maybe a steady cam with a little bit of a jib, how you kind of get the motion. So, you know, you see it right here. A bunch of people are talking about, you know, y'all, pitch, uh, rolling, everything like that. The reason that this is really, really significant and people are getting kind of blown away with this is this is compensating every single movement you can do. Obviously, if you're going like this and you're going crazy, it's not going to work. But uh, Sony's saying you can get 4.5, so five stops. You can control up the image stabilization to where you can uh, keep it stable. And to me, this is completely mind-blowing. And in looking at a lot of the... So the biggest problem with this, uh, you know, people don't understand how it works. They, they think that... It's the sensor that's going to move and it's going to change things. It's going to distort the picture. It's going to cut off some of the pictures. And that's not the case at all. Actually, what's going to happen is the sensor is going to stay in the center. It's going to stay with the uh, with the lens. And if you've ever used a image stabilization device with a GoPro, with an iPhone, with a phone in general, you get your image is stable. So here's the sensor. So any movement you do. So I'm actually going to do the demonstration like this. So say this is the sensor right here, right by my nose. Any movement I do is not going to move the sensor. But what this is going to compensate for is all of the movement. So in a way, the camera, it, it almost looks like the sensor is going to be, you know, stabilized. But then the entire camera body kind of moves around it. Uh, in a way, and that's what's going to kind. Of, that's what's going to give it that that y'all that pitch the roll and all that stuff. That's what's going to keep things stabilized. This is just literally mind blowing. That you're going to have moving parts within this camera. Uh, the sensor is not going to move. Uh, you know that's pretty much 100. percent If the sensor moved, then you would have issues. Um, so this is not going to affect video. This is not going to affect photos. Like people really are going to say. Sony figured out a way, and they lead the industry in sensors. It's not a secret that Nikon uses their sensors. Uh, you know, they're really, really great for low light. I wish I liked holding the Sony bodies more because I think I'd be very, very interested, but they don't fit my hands well. But this is, I mean, this is absolutely amazing technology that they're going to officially come out with. Uh, they said, what, on December 5th in Japan. So we'll probably see it, you know, maybe in January or February. Huh. So Sony did something that not a lot of not a lot of other people are going to be able to do. I'm sure they're not going to license this technology to Nikon and their in their cameras, but they figured out a way to make the ultimate, the utmost safe proof way of getting video, of getting any kind of stabilization that you need. They took, you know, a basic idea with all the different movements you can do, threw it into a camera, housed it around a sensor. And that's what this is going to be. This is not going to affect images in a bad way. This is this is innovative. This is the next step of photography. I'm extremely, extremely excited. I want to get hands on with this thing. Once again, you know, it probably won't fit my hands well, so I might not be able to, you know, shoot with it comfortably. But holy hell, just even looking at some of the sample videos, which I can't show because I don't own that content. It's, I mean, going from having no stabilization to stabilization you know, you were getting this kind of movement when you were like regular, zoomed all the way in, telephoto, but then all of a sudden it just almost, you know, froze like a rock with these, with this five stops, uh, using this, uh, five axis IS. 
So this is not a bad thing. Don't get intimidated. It's not going to distort your pictures. It's not going to do anything. Your camera sensor is going to be stable. It's still going to be in line with your lens. But what the camera body is doing, you know, it's compensating for what you're doing. What is your thoughts on this? The community went crazy today. Absolutely expected. But Sony just set a precedent that is going to be tough to top. What is your thoughts? Please let me know down below. This is actually amazing and innovative, something rare that's happened, you know, within years, within HD video going from, you know, the Nikon D90 with 720p to all the way now we're at, you know, 4K, 120, 240 frames, all that kind of stuff. This is something different. This is something well worth talking about. Don't be afraid of this. This is something that is going to change the future of all cameras, even on the video side as well. Give me your thoughts down below. Wow, Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye. Sony, holy hell.